Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. Uh, I don't know what's in here. Uh, why is there a piece of paper taped on the front? There's information on both sides and I don't want to make it public. I uh, want to respect the privacy of the person who sent it. And that person is Cody. Thank you very much, Cody, uh, for sending this in. I uh, can't wait to see what it is. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, let's see here. Yeah. I'm <laughs> like calculating the best point of attack when I just open it the same way that I always do. Tactical peanuts. What do we have right here? A black box. Let's take a look at this note. Oh, yes. Uh, so here's a, a great example of something that you guys won't stop asking me about. Um, so it's finally here. Here, uh, I'm going to share his Instagram. Let me make sure. Sometimes they give me their Instagram, but they don't necessarily want me to share it. So I got to make sure there's no other information here. Uh, his Instagram is always winning 76. So please give him a follow. It's because of people like him that I'm able to bring you guys daily knife content. Uh, this is a loner for new people who don't understand how my channel works. It's a loner. That means it goes back to the person who sent it. So this is the uh, Dylan Mallory or Mallory Designs for us. Yeah, I can see why you guys wanted me to take a look. Uh, so first thing. We have a titanium, a milled titanium uh, pocket clip. We have what I'm going to guess is a stainless steel, yeah, stainless steel inset liner lock. Nice little opening hole there. God, God bless Dylan Mallory for understanding how to make a, an actual <laughs> forward joil or finger joil, whatever you want me to say. This area right here is big enough to accommodate for well more than my finger even. So if you have hands that are the same size as mine or smaller or even slightly larger, you're gonna be able to get your index finger in there, which is great. There's nothing worse than having a choil which removes a, a good, usually a good chunk of the cutting edge that isn't completely functional. If, you're, if they're gonna do that, you wanna make sure that you can make good use of it and get, in my opinion, you need to be able to get your second knuckle in there. Um, so that's fantastic. I really like that. Another thing that I appreciate is that this is not another satin finished blade. We have a nice tumbled blade contrasting well with some shred carbon fiber. Nice touch on the logo there. I don't know who's made, is it titanium backspacer as well? Very straightforward, very simple design. Not necessarily something that is, you know, reinventing the wheel of knife design, but it is nice. All of the little things that we ask for in a pocket knife like this are present, right? So, uh, easy access to this sort of thumb slot thing, and you can get in there and do the thumb flick if you want to, or you can do the reverse flick. Or if you're just feeling like a regular person, you can just pinch open it and wheel it out. Um, no double clutch, nice spot for the blade to fall down to your finger since there is that choil there. You can see it's gonna run into your, dull part of the blade's gonna run into your thumb first, well before the blade. Um, but, uh, yeah, nice ratios. I mean, you know, cutting edge to overall length ratio, sure. But blade to handle ratio, very good. Um, centering, very nice. I don't know where these were available, if they are still available, but this is a nice knife. This is going to be kind of, um, you know, EDC perfection, I think, for a lot of people. Really glad that it was not another titanium frame lock as well. I really like the inset liner lock thing. I don't know if he's doing... A titanium frame lock version of this or not? I don't know. What's the blade steel? Let's, you know, what we should probably do is check out the card here. Forest S35VN marble carbon. Did I say shred? It's marble? Okay. Uh, 91 of 200. Manufactured in China, I figured. Um, I don't, I'd like to know who the OEM is. If it's, is it QSP or is it Bestec? We, I don't know. Um, but uh, in any case, it feels really good. No, no blade play. No, no pivot lash. And the detent's good too. Click, right? Pretty cool. It's a nice, uh, nice looking knife. Nice, slim design. So, Cody, thank you so much for sending this in. 
This is just an unboxing and first impressions. This is not a review. Uh, I will, uh, you know, experience this knife and, you know, kind of just take in everything over the next few weeks and uh, eventually uh, give you guys a full comprehensive review. Um, but I'll try to link this down below if it is. I, it sounds like it's probably not. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely interesting. Glad I got to look at this before the end of uh, 2021 here. Anyways, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives. They're either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.